Today I'm presenting the, the new, all new, strong 5000 model weigh and fill system for coffee, grains, nuts, uh, could be, you could use it for almost anything. Um, it's, it's all electronic. Uh, what's neat about it is it's totally programmable. Uh, in a coffee situation, which is what we're using it for, for Millar's Wood Roasted Coffee, which is a company that I own, um, we can actually adjust it from anywhere from a quarter of a pound all the way up to five pounds, as much as, much as 10 pounds if we want. The hopper size is, uh, is, is pretty much maxed out at about five pounds for, uh, for coffee. Uh, other grains, other nuts, other types of, uh, of small, um, small part particles of, of material, um, you can get much, much larger, much higher capacity with. With this unit, it's very, very close. Um, very, very accurate. Um, it's very easy and easy to program. And the uh, com the PLC computer is very, uh, very intuitive to use. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna give you show you a couple examples of how it's being used uh, for coffee. Um, right now, I've got mine on a little bit of a platform. If you look down here, um, and the reason why I've done that is just to raise me up a little bit uh, to make it a little more easy. You don't have to have a platform, depending on what you're doing. Um, I just found it to be a little little easier to use. Um, and it wasn't much to, to build out of wood. You could build one out of steel or stainless or what have you. Um, so, but it's, the unit is, is very uh, robust, all made out of 304 stainless. Um, it's not gonna rust on you. Uh, definitely is made for food, uh, very cleanable. Our system here, the, the, the Strong 5000, has a couple features that are, that are unique. Um, normally they use a vibrator, just a single vibrator system. And what we've got is a three vibration system. So we have a one, two, and three. So we have two of them, the two outside ones, run at a very high high speed. So you get a lot of volume of uh, material coming down. And then the, the third one, which is the center one, what that does, that's our dribble vibrator. Um, and what that'll do is that'll give you a, a real sh slow vibration at the very end. So as, it, as, the, as the actual weight approaches the, the end, um, these outside ones turn off and the center one does a, a dribble action, which is a very slow vibration. Um, they're totally adjustable. There's a chute for each one. You can adjust that to fine tune them. There's also, you can see here, these are also the adjustments, individual adjustments for the vibration, for the frequency. So I can fine tune my, my material coming out very, very, uh, very close. Um, on, on mine, I added an extra, an extra, um, a little extra buffer so that when I do my dark roast coffee, uh, it doesn't overflow the, the fill bucket. Um, very easy to add a piece of sheet metal or stainless. Well, I used aluminum in this case. Um, and also, what's nice about this unit is it does have a pretty good size hopper. Uh, I'm getting about 35 pounds, 30 to 35 pounds in the hopper for your fill to, that actually holds the, uh, the, the, the coffee beans. But again, it could be used for popcorn, could be barley grain, could be used for all kinds of seeds, maybe even uh, materials that aren't even food. Um, it's a very well-made unit. Um, so. What I, I'm going to show you how, to, how I run a, run a system on it from scratch. So I'll get my bucket full of coffee here. It helps to have a little ladder. And and on this system, it's super, super easy. Once you've programmed the actual amount, um, so what we've got here is we've got a, a, uh, the operation page, which is actually telling us what our settings are. Um, this also tells us our count on how many, uh, how many cycles that the, the machine has done. Um, I can clear the cycles pretty easily by pressing clear. And then I've got my weight, which is the actual weight of the hopper, which is the weight, the actual the load cell. And then I've got my start, my stop. Um, and the setting is where, where you get into the programming where you're going to go into and, and tell it what, how, many, how many grams to, uh, to produce. This is set for five pounds, which is 2271. We're a little bit over because just for, uh, for fudge factor, I want to make sure that I don't, you know, short anybody any, any coffee. So um, right now it's showing the actual fill weight, which is what the actual hopper has in it right now, which is zero amount. So let's go ahead and start the process. I start the push the start button. And you'll see. I got material going on both sides. And now I've got come, come to a, uh, a dribble, and now it's stopped. And if we go back to the computer, you'll see that we're just a smudge over, which is fine, which is perfect. So now, if you step back, you'll see down here, I've got, the, uh, I've got a, uh, 
a foot pedal. And so all I simply do is hold my bag underneath the spout and push my foot on the foot pedal. Now the next one, as you can hear, is already starting to fill. So I'll take this. And I'll seal this. But now it's set up for the next one. So I've got my bag. Hold it underneath the hopper. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop this, but I want you to also see inside here as it, as it works for the next one. Okay, so what I'm gonna show you is, is the actual process happening. Right now, the, um, the cop, this hopper is full and I've got coffee waiting to drop down for the next one. I'm gonna go ahead and push the, the, uh, the foot pedal. It'll drop the coffee out of here and start going to the next cycle. And there's the dribble action. And that's it, it's pretty simple. Um, if I wanted to fine tune this, I could fine tune it real easily. And now you can see this is ready for the next setup. It's ready for the next drop. Now, if I wanted to right now, I could actually stop the process by just pressing the stop button. Now, when I drop the last batch of coffee, now it doesn't fill for the next bag. So it's pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, I think a lot of people that are hand scooping um, whatever material they're scooping, whether it be coffee or anything else, if you're standing there hand scooping, you're, you're wasting a lot of time, a lot of valuable time. This creates consistency not only from how much coffee you're putting in the bag, it also makes you more, uh, more efficient in terms of speed. So the faster you can produce a bag of coffee, whether it be you or your employees, the more money you're going to actually put in your, keep in your pocket. Um, so say goodbye to the scoop and say hello to step into the 21st century in terms of uh, weigh and fills and filling systems. Um, but again, this could be used for a variety of different grains and nuts and, and, and all kinds of uh, small material that would, that would go through a variety of style system. So it's not just limited to coffee. So that's a demonstration of the weigh fill system, the strong weigh fill system 5000. Um, it's definitely going to improve your efficiency. It will definitely improve the quality of your products in terms of how much you're putting out there. Um, you're not going up and down on your weights. Um, not to mention the weights and measures uh, will be very consistent, um, much faster, less repetitive movement. If you're doing it yourself, it's definitely going to be easier on your body. And also, the most important is it's more efficient. So it's going to save you money in the long run in terms of how much, how much uh, labor you're paying to fill your, fill your bags of coffee or your material, whether it be grains or, or nuts or what have you. So thanks for checking us out, and we will hope to talk to you soon.